Welcome back to the tutorials on the Ubuntu Terminal. This is the second video. If you have yet, if you have not seen the first uh, video, click the link at the bottom and go through the first video because we will be going through some things today that were covered on the first video. Um, as for today, we're going to be um, completing an assignment. In so doing, we're going to be learning a few new commands. So let's get started. So we access our terminal, and as you can see, we're s by default we come in the home directory. Um, however, we're actually going to be working for a short time in the root directory, and the um, <clears throat> the symbol for root directory is not a question mark, but a slash. So as you can see, now we're in the root directory, and the root is the highest directory. So if we tried to go one directory above the root, as you can see, it doesn't it does not work. And what we're going to be doing here today is <clears throat> we're going to first locate a file that has a homework assignment on it, and by doing that, the command is locate. However, before you locate a file, you have to make sure that your database is updated. If you just try to locate a file that you recently saved or downloaded, then the locate file will, you won't be able to use the locate command. It, the path won't be displayed. So, for example, if I were to locate our current assignment, nothing happens. As you can see, we just get an empty display. Now, for to locate the file from the previous tutorial which we created, we can see that the path is displayed. So in order to update the database, you type the command sudo update db. You'll have to enter your password. And now the database is updated, so now if we try again to locate homework 1, see the path for it is actually also in our home directory. <clears throat> so let's change directories. Let's go home and let's list our directories. As you can see the file is actually right here. And let's display that file to figure out what we have to do to complete our assignment. So if we remember the display, to display a text file the command is less. Okay, so it says, this assignment tests your knowledge on the Ubuntu terminal, edit the files by providing answers to the questions listed. When finished, create a homework folder and save assignment as homework1.txt. Also make a backup of the assignment and save the backup to a homework-backup folder. <clears throat> okay, as we remember from the previous tutorial, the less command simply displays the text. We can't edit anything in here. It won't work. So we'll quit out of that by hitting Q. And to get to edit text files or to create text files for the terminal, the command is nano, followed by the file that you want to edit. If you simply want to start a new file, all you do is enter nano, and as you can see, you have an empty buffer. Let's get out of that. And so now if you just want to edit a file that already exists, the command is nano, followed by the file name. And as you can see, we are in the hour assignment. And we could scroll by using the arrows and... <clears throat> Alright, the first part is basically answering these questions, or editing the file by answering these questions. So, part one is commands. And we most of the stuff covered in this was covered in the previous tutorial. So as we remember, to change our directory, the command is cd and to print the working directory, the present working directory, the command is um, pwd. To list files is ls. To create or make a new directory, the command is mkdir. And to display a text file, which we just showed, the command was less. Uh, symbols, the tilde was our home directory we just learned today was 
the loop directory. There we go. The double period was one level above our current directory. Alright, part three is color codes. This one was simple. Blue represented a folder directory. Light blue represented a protected folder or directory. And the white represented a text file. Okay, so now we're finished. So now the command to save this in nano, the term used for save is write out. So it's control O. And it says file name to write. HW1.txt. Correct. So I'll hit enter. And now if we exit out of that by hitting Control x we're back in the terminal. And if we were to... We still have the homework1.txt file in the home directory, so let's display that and see if the edit was successful. And as we can see it is. All the answers are still here, so let's quit out of that. The other part of the assignment was to make a backup of that file, and the way we do that is using the command cp, so it's cp, followed by the file, 1.txt, followed by the name of the backup, or in some instances, the, the folder in which you want to you want to save that file to. However, with this, I'm going to save it to the file name in which I want it to be saved to, so it would be homework1-backup.txt. And if we list it again, we'll see we have our homework backup listed as well. That's not all they want. The assignment also wants us to create a directory and save both texts to their respective directories. So homework1.txt needs to be saved in a homework directory. So we'll create that by using the command make directory. And as we can see, homework was created right here. And now it says to move the homework file to the homework directory. So we move a file with the command mv, followed by the file name .txt, followed by the folder in which you want it to move to, which in this case is homework. So if we <coughs> list that, we see there's no longer hw1.txt is no longer in the home directory, it was moved to the homework folder, so let's list that, and as we could see, in our homework folder, h1. hw1.txt was saved. So now if we go back to the home directory, we also need to create a homework backup folder, so we'll make dir homework dash backup and as you can see our homework backup was right here and exactly like exactly like moving the homework 1.txt file to the homework folder we're going to do the same for the homework backup so it would be mv hw1 dash backup dot txt followed by the folder in which you want to move that folder, that file to. If we list that, we see the folder now can, the homework folder now contains the backup as well. If we list that, we could see right here that it was successfully saved. And if we want to display that will simply type in the file name and as you can see we have a decent backup. Okay so what we went over today was how to work in the root directory, how to locate a file following updating our database, how to work in nano in order to edit a file, how to save that file and how to copy that file as well as moving those particular files into specific folders that you want them to be saved in. Alright, that concludes this tutorial.